Dad, it sure would be terrible if there were orphans in the world and nobody helped them, wouldn't it? Oh, I think everyone tries to help orphans when they need it. Even when it takes a little trouble? Well, helping people usually does take a little trouble. This will take very little trouble, Dad. All we have to do is watch where we sit when we take a bath. Huh? Well, the people down the block left a dozen orphan goldfish when they moved away yesterday. Goldfish? I put them in our bathtub. <laughs> Helping's fun, isn't it, Dad? <laughs> or against us. I like the way you sing, Mr. Wilson. It's real different. Well, we still have another day before the charity picnic. You'll be perfect by then, John. You bet I will. Well, uh, let's have our last practice here tomorrow night, right? All right. Are you sure we ought to go through with this? We didn't even sound good to me. Yeah, how did you let us get hooked into this entertaining anyway? Oh, our quartet will be the hit of the occasion. Well, I hope so. Yeah, well, good night, too. John. Good night. <laughs> Tomorrow night. Won't you stay for more coffee? Oh, thanks. No more tonight. Oh, thank you. Bye. You sounded wonderful. Thank you. No, I can't understand Finch and Quigley not having confidence in our quartet. Why, when we sing out there at that picnic, everybody is going to be amazed. Oh, I'm sure they will, John. <laughs> Are you going to be in the three-legged races and stuff again this year, Dad? Nope. When the athletic events come up this year, I'm just going to watch. Uh, your brother and I teamed up last year. They sure did, and they were the favorite team, weren't they, Mom? Well, they were our favorites, anyway. <laughs> Remember how everybody was laughing and hollering in that race where Dad had to crawl through all those barrels? Well, you make it sound very exciting, Dennis. It sure was, and they said Dad did something that had never been done before. Really, Henry? What was that? Did you set some new kind of a record or something? Well, not exactly, John. I... Heck no! He was crawling through the last barrel, and he got his pants caught on a nail. He had to wear the barrel home. Oh, you should have seen his picture in the paper. <laughs> they got my bad side, John. So this year, I'm just trying to be a spectator. I don't blame you, Henry. Well, I'll sit with you and help you spectate. <laughs> That'll be a dollar and ten cents for the shaving lotion. Need any razor blades? No, not today, thanks. Can I sell you anything, John? Oh, no, thank you. I just came down for the walk. You'll have to walk back. Need any vitamin pills? Please <laughs> not. Well, good morning, Mitchell. Oh, hello, Brady. Say, I'm glad I ran into you. Uh, I understand you're in line for congratulations. For what? For staying out of the sports events tomorrow. You won't have to take your annual beating from me. <laughs> yes, I'm sitting this one out. Say, uh, you're uh, George Wilson's brother, aren't you? I am. Sorry, John, I should have introduced you. This is Jack Brady, one of our more confident citizens. Yeah, your brother was Mitchell's partner at last year's picnic. Boy, I really murdered him. Indeed. <laughs> yeah, it was pitiful. Say, um, I don't suppose you'd care to team up with Mitchell here and uh, give me a crack at you, would you? No, I, uh, I don't plan to enter. Too bad. I'd like to add another Wilson scalp to my belt. <laughs> oh, apparently you feel that any contest between us could have only one result. I'm positive. You certainly are. Uh, <laughs> Henry, uh, would you accept me as a partner? I... 
Why, yes, John. Splendid. I'd like to prove to this gentleman that deeds speak louder than words. <laughs> oh, this is great. I open the door and in flies a pair of pigeons. <laughs> well, I think that Henry and I can give a good account of ourselves. Oh, yeah? Well, will you meet my partner? Hey, Tiny, come on in here. <laughs> this is uh, Tiny Hawkins, new assistant foreman down at our place. This is Henry Mitchell. Pleased to meet you. <clears throat> That's quite a grip you've got. Oh, I'm sorry if I hurt you. Honest, I wasn't showing off for nothing. And uh, this is John Wilson. If you don't mind, I'll just nod. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a big overgrown kid, Wilson. And uh, speaking of kids, Mitchell, you can tell that boy of yours that my Johnny will win the sports events tomorrow, too. <laughs> Let's go, Tiny. We'd better hurry home, Henry, and get in some good practice for our athletic contest. Probably be a waste of time. He's so big. What if he is? David defeated Goliath. I'd hate to throw rocks at him. <laughs> Well, a little tug of war should tone up our muscles, Henry. We can't let Brady and his trained gorilla beat us without a struggle. <laughs> I'm not gonna let Johnny Brady beat me either. I'm gonna run faster, throw up balloons faster, and do everything faster. Well, that's fine, son. I'm gonna practice the sack race first. Could you help me into it? Oh, sure. Here. Now remember your balance. Okay, Dad. Very important. There you are. I bet this is how a baby kangaroo feels, huh, Mr. Wilson? Well, I don't know. I have never been a kangaroo, baby, or otherwise, then. <laughs> well, here I go. Jeepers, this is easy. Now, uh, uh, Henry, we'll use this pillow as a center line. Now, you take the end of the rope, and we'll try to pull each other across it. Yeah, now get a good grip. Now, when I say pull, you pull. All right, pull. There we go. Did I get in your way, Mr. Wilson, or did you get in mine? Oh, Dennis, you'd better run along. Mr. Wilson and I have to practice. Sheepers, Dad, I've got to practice, too. We all want to win tomorrow, don't we? Yeah. Uh, Dennis, my boy, how would you like to do something important to help your father and me win? Sure, Mr. Wilson. What is it? Well, uh, we want to practice the potato and spoon race. Oh, you mean the one where you run back and forth with a potato and a spoon? That's right. Now, there isn't a single potato in the house. Oh, you want me to go to the market, huh? Good, my boy, good. And charge it to me. Okay. Uh, Dennis, out of the sack. Okay, Dad. <laughs> good thinking, John. I not only have it here, but here. <laughs> <laughs> There you are. Thank you, and uh, call again. Hi, Mr. Quigley. Well, hello, Dennis. What can I do for you today? I came to look at your potatoes. Oh, just a minute, son. I'll wait on you. You don't have to, Mr. Quigley. All I want is... No, no, no. I don't want you rooting around over here all by yourself. But Mr. Quigley, all I want is... You don't is... have to tell me. Your mother always gets five pounds of potatoes. There you are. But I don't want five pounds. I just want one. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. Well, very well. One pound it is. Not one pound, Mr. Quigley. Just one potato. One potato? <laughs> is your mother flipped? <laughs> it's not for Ma. It's for Mr. Wilson. Oh, Wilson, huh? He must be on a crash diet. All right, there you are with my compliments. Cheapers, I can't use this one, Mr. Quigley. It's too big. Too big for what? For the spoon and potato race tomorrow. I've got to have a little one that won't fall out. Dennis, as much as the sale of one potato means to me, I do have a customer waiting over there. Oh, you wait on her. I can find the right size. Do you keep the little potatoes on the bottom like you do the little strawberries? <laughs> There's a little one. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have left you alone. That old bit's pretty weak, Mr. Quigley. Kyle, 
grocery store, and along comes a little kid, makes a bowling alley out of it. Wait, Mr. Quigley, that's it. That's the one I want. Boy, you sure know how to pick out potatoes, Mr. Quigley. It fits perfectly. Well, then take it and go far, far away. Okay. <laughs> hey, Mom, what's in the bowl? Same thing that was in it when you asked me a minute ago. Macaroni salad? That's right. Hasn't changed. Can I taste one? Just one little old macaroni? That answer hasn't changed either. Jeepers, Mom, I'm awful hungry. You wouldn't want me to starve in my own house, would you? <laughs> oh, don't be so pitiful. We'll be at the picnic grounds in less than an hour. Okay, Mom. Boy, those eggs sure look good, Mrs. Wilson. They're just ordinary hard-boiled eggs, dear. I bet they're not ordinary the way you boil them. I bet they're real special. Oh, I hardly think that. Just let me taste one, huh? Then I can tell you how special they are. There it is. Okay, Mom. Hands off, young man. Sheepers, Mom. I was just going to take a gizzard. Gizzards are hard and tough. Nobody would eat him except a poor little starving boy who's weak and hungry like I am. Please, you're making me cry. Well, how do you like the quartet outfits? Oh, they're very attractive. Henry, you look just the way you did in college when you serenaded me under my dormitory window. Well, this time I hope no one throws water on me. <laughs> Is there anything we can do to help? No, everything's under control. Oh, except Dennis. What's with you, son? Jeepers, I'm awful hungry. Mom says I have to wait until we get to the picnic. Well, your mother's absolutely right, Dennis. If you ate now, you'd spoil your appetite. You must learn to control yourself, Dennis, and not give in to your craving. <laughs> Mom, I hate to be a tattletale, but Dad and Mr. Wilson are... Help yourself. <laughs> I thought you wanted the gizzard. Heck, who wants a tough old piece like that? <laughs>
Remember what I told you. Long jumps. We gotta win this one, boy. Okay, I'll win it. Okay, don't forget what I told you about your balance. Okay, Dad. All ready? Set? Go! Go, son, go! Come on, come on, what are you waiting for, jump? I can't. You're standing on my sack. <laughs> Why don't you stop helping the boy, Brady, and give him a chance to win one? <laughs> go, Dance, go! Ah. You better get with it, John. Oh, say, that's right, Henry. It's almost time for our event. We'd better loosen up our muscles. I'm with you, John. Honey, why don't you skip the tug of war? Honey, we can't skip any of the events. Every single point counts. <laughs> Even if we only come in second or third in the tug of war, well, it all adds up to our final score. Well, do your best, then. <laughs> Heck, you don't have to worry about Dad, Mom. Him and Mr. Wilson can beat anybody. Huh, Dad? We're gonna try, son. Hey, Mitchell, they're gonna start the tug of war. Are you coming, or are you and your friend gonna be wallflowers? We'll be there, Brady. We'll... You know, I'll be surprised if you guys can lift the rope. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Tiny. Wow, look at all those muscles. Yeah, he looks like Tarzan. <laughs> Come on, Henry. <laughs> and the winners, Kevin and Bradson. All right, next contestant. Come on, Ned. Come on, Mr. Wilson. Come on, Mr. Mitchell. Give it to him, Tiny. Dig your heels in good, Henry. We'll give him all we've got. Well, at least give him a fight, John. Yeah. Ready, set, go. Come on. <laughs> wow. Look at your damn rush. <laughs> that have been the 50-yard dash. Dad and Mr. Wilson would have won by a mile. <laughs> The best. You have lots of points, haven't you? Yes, right now it's a tie between the Mitchell Wilson team and the Brady Hawkins team. Only thing left is the egg tossing contest. That ought to be right up our alley. <laughs> Dad, would you get this pickle out for me? Okay. <sighs> Stuck. Maybe I can reach my hand in there. No, 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 no. I'll get it. Dennis, you'll make yourself sick. You've already had enough pickles to... <laughs> What's the matter, dear? Nothing, nothing at all. I... He can't get his hand out. <coughs> oh, here. Let, let me... Oh. <laughs> I feel so silly, John. Sure is stuck. Hey, I know what to do. No! No, Tommy, don't! You cut his hair! Wilson, Mitchell, we're ready for the egg throwing contest. Come on, let's go! Uh, we'll be with you in a minute, Vince. Just give us a minute. Oh, hot air. Hey, what's holding you guys up? <laughs> it, it, just a minute, Randy. <laughs> Soon as Dad gets his hand unstuck from the pickle jar. Show him, Dad. <laughs> hey, how in the heck? Hey, Tiny, come here, get a look at this. How are you going to catch an egg with your hand in a pickle jar? I haven't quite figured that out yet, Finch. <laughs> well, we can't wait all day, Mitchell. Come on, let's get started. Well, this event's going to declare the winner. What are you going to do about it, Henry? Give us time. Give us time. You guys better default. <laughs> default? I can still play. I'll, I'll get another partner. Oh, no, you don't. No, sir. Your team is Wilson and Mitchell. That's the way it's listed, right, Finch? Well, it started that way. Yeah, and that's the way it's got to stay. If Wilson and Mitchell drop out, then me and Tiny win. We're way ahead of everybody else. I feel like such a dunce, John. <laughs> hey, I know. I'll be your partner, Mr. Wilson. 
I'm Mitchell, just like Dad. We can be Wilson and Mitchell, can't we, Mr. Finch? Yeah, that's the same name, Dennis. Any objection to that, Brady? No, no, that's okay. Uh, we'll uh, settle for the little fella. All right, Dennis. I don't know what else I can do. Oh, boy! Oh, no, Dennis, you stand right there. Don't you worry, Mr. Wilson. I'm a dandy pitcher. You just stand back and I'll peg this old hey, man. No, 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 Dennis, no good heavens. I don't want you to peg it in there. Give me that and I'll show you. It, like that. You mean you throw it like a girl? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, boys, get ready. Now, you understand how to do this. You toss an egg and step back. Then you toss it again and step back. The team left with the unbroken egg wins. All ready? Set? Go! Wilson? Oh, look out for this next one, Wilson. <laughs> What's the matter with you, clumsy? Well, did you uh, break something, Brady? <laughs> <laughs> That's it, folks, the winners, Wilson and Mitchell. <laughs> that concludes the sports, folks. And the winning team for the day is Wilson and Mitchell. Let's all of us give them a big hand. You sure are a good egg pitcher, Mr. Wilson. You're the one who did it, partner. Well, you were a team, Dennis. Oh, you're great. Oh, yeah. Come on, let's get it. Dennis, I'm proud of you catching the egg that way. Oh, Mom, it was nothing. But it sure is a good thing we used a hard-boiled egg, though. Or I bet ours would have broken, too. <laughs> oh, no. Dennis, is that the egg we won with? Sure, Mr. Wilson. I got it out of our egg bowl. Oh, this is terrible. After the rising we gave Brady, oh, boy. Is something the matter? <laughs> Well, yes, son, you're not supposed to use a hard-boiled egg. Jeepers, Dad, they're the best kind. They don't break. <laughs> he didn't know the rules, dear. Nobody told him. What are you going to do, John? There's only one thing to do. We didn't win the contest fairly, so we'll have to tell Brady. You're right, John. Do you mean we lost? Yes, Dennis, we lost. You're not supposed to use a hard-boiled egg. We brought eggs for the contest. Fresh one. Come on, Dennis. Uh, uh Brady? Yeah? <clears throat> I, uh, well, I, I want everyone to hear this. It's about the egg-throwing contest. Well, what about it? You won? What do you want, a medal? No, no. As a matter of fact, Dennis and I didn't win. You see, Dennis didn't know the rules, so he brought along a hard-boiled egg for us to throw. A hard-boiled egg? Well, no wonder it didn't break. So you and your partner are the winners, Brady, and I apologize. Yeah, but we busted our egg. We used the wrong kind, so... Well, I guess we sort of tied for first place. Well, I'll be darned. Wilson, you're not such a bad guy at that. Well. A real honest man. Put her there. Well. <laughs> oh, great season. See, Mr. Wilson, I told you a hard-boiled egg is better. <laughs>
This has been a Screen Gems film production from the Hollywood studios of Columbia Pictures.